LOL. Biden claims his top priority is fighting inflation. On Monday, President Joe Biden claimed his top priority is fighting inflation and lowering prices for families. Interestingly enough, he touted the bipartisan infrastructure law as a way of fighting rising inflation. According to the president, every American will be able to obtain high-speed internet access for roughly $30 divided by Thanks to the bipartisan infrastructure law, we're delivering high-speed internet infrastructure to every part of the country. And I mean that literally every part of the country. The bottom line is this. My top priority is fighting inflation and lowering prices for families and the things they need. Today's announcement is going to give millions of families a little more, a little more breathing room to help them pay their bills. You know, we work with Democrats and Republicans and business and nonprofits to make this happen. And we're going to keep working to fight inflation and lower costs to all American families for a lot of other things as well. But again, I want to thank the businesses that are here today. I want to thank the internet companies, or the providers. It really matters. You're going to change people's lives. Months. What he doesn't mention is that $65 billion in taxpayer dollars are being used to fund the initiative. So really, this money saver, if it actually happens, will be a short-term stint. While this sounds great on paper, this doesn't lower the 8.5% extra that's being tacked onto every American's grocery bill and gas pump receipt. This is just an excuse for the Democrats to shove their social infrastructure structure package down our throats. Washington listening. This is a huge crisis. In the last few weeks America has experienced a crisis level shortage of baby formula. More than 40% of stores nationwide have no formula to sell at all. So far, Biden himself has not responded to the issue, most likely because he does not want to admit that his terrible economic policies have led to a disastrous supply chain problem that he and his administration have repeatedly denied. These supply chain issues started last year. But the particular impact on baby formula came in February when Biden's FDA shut down one of the biggest formula producers in the United States. The market has been unable to recoup the damages. The FDA recently claimed they are doing everything in our power to alleviate the shortage but the agency still refuses to reopen the plant and has offered no timeline for when we can expect that. As a result, major suppliers like CVS and Walgreens have implemented formula rationing policies at their stores limiting sales to just three formulas per transaction. Walmart has implemented similar measures. Is this socialism in America? Parents can no longer provide food for growing babies even if they are capable of paying for it. As a note, three in four babies in the United States are fed formula during the first six months of their lives. Alert. Biden's new disinformation czar wants to edit your tweets. The Biden administration recently unveiled their Ministry of Truth aimed at censoring anything they deem as disinformation. The woman in charge is Nina Jankovic and she's not hiding her plans to transform conservative messages into liberal talking points. She recently ranted about her intention to allow verified accounts to edit your tweets. Um, and I am eligible for it because I'm verified. But there are a lot of people who shouldn't be verified who aren't, you know, legit, in my opinion. I mean, they are real people, but they're not um, trustworthy. Anyway, so verified people can um, essentially start to edit Twitter the, the same sort of way that Wikipedia is. So they can add context to certain tweets. Um, so just as an easy example, not from any political standpoint, if President Trump were still on Twitter and tweeted a claim about voter fraud, someone could add context from one of the 60 lawsuits uh, that went through the court or uh, something that an election official in one of the states said, perhaps your own secretary of state uh, <laughs> and, and his news conferences, something like that, adding context so that people um, have a fuller picture rather than just an individual claim on a tweet.